A lot of people, what they do is they have these, these finish lines. And I have a saying that says, I don't stop when I'm tired, I stop when I'm done. So when I was uh, younger, mm -hmm. I, I didn't have any goals. And it's not really so much about goals, it's just a fucking to-do list. Yeah. A to-do list. And as a human being, if you don't have a to-do list, you're going to sit back and just fade away. It's like a lot of people who are in the military, who are in business, who are whenever, they say, hey, I'm going to do 20 years and I'm going to retire. Okay, what's next? So I have a what's next list. So then I never lay, so I never sit idle. I never sit idle. There's, there, there's never one time in my life where I'm sitting back with free time and like just enjoying the sun. Yeah, okay. yeah. So basically, I don't take any days off as far as working out. What I realized growing up is you have to build your armor. Yeah. Your armor. Your first thing in the morning time is you have to build your confidence. And every day you're constantly gaining and losing confidence. You're never staying the same. So how you build your confidence is if you like what you see in that mirror, that's how you start your day off. If you wake up and you, and you look fat, you look out of shape, you're not, you know, you don't feel good, which is, you know, or you don't feel good inside. So my whole big thing is get up and work out, shed some calories, get the, get the adrenals going, get yeah. the mind going, get all that going. Every day I run, every day I work out and every day I stretch. So I spend anywhere from three to five hours a day working out. Um, I'm, I'm constantly thinking about my life, yeah. raw things about my life because I want to share these things with people. I'm constantly, and, and see, I don't post a lot. I don't post, it's like most people post just to post. So my daily routine is like, I don't get up and start just posting stuff three or four times a day. Yeah, yeah. I post when something is meaningful because I want people to get something out of it. I don't want to just be on social media and say, hey, I'm posting. Let me get more followers, tag someone, hashtag this bullshit, hashtag that bullshit. No, this is a message about you. So every day I'm running, every day I'm working, I'm thinking about, do I have anything that I can share with people today that's powerful? And I'm constantly writing books. So I have one book out right now. I have my second book coming out, but I'm not going to have it coming out anytime soon because I want it to be perfect. Yeah. So my whole thing about life is putting all your energy in one thing. So my routines are always about synergy, focused, hyper-focused. It's always about mind because yeah. I know once your mind gets away from you, you've lost. I go out to run, I get all my ideas. All my ideas come from when the blood pressure and yeah. the intensity is high. Yeah. Because that puts me back in the dungeon. Yeah. I remember when I was 300 pounds. My, my most inspirational time is when I was 300 pounds and I was trying to lose weight and I was having all these self talks, trying to find strength all over my brain. How the fuck am I going to do this? How the fuck? Yeah. So you start to have these different mantras like almost every three or four seconds a different mantra comes up and um just there's a lot of power in that from being that underdog mentality yeah and whenever i go out to work out it's not like i'm david goggins now 44 have you know i've achieved a lot every time i go out to work out i'm that 300 pound guy Got it. spraying for fucking cockroaches nothing because if you think that way you can only achieve the best yeah. If you've arrived and you go out there, I don't need to be out here doing this. So when I tell people, hey, stop listening to music for a little bit, put your fucking phone down, yeah. put the computer down, really focus the, the most powerful weapon is your brain. It relates to the, you know, they're like, oh man, yeah. You know, we weren't raised on this shit. Mm -hmm. They can kind of go back in the dungeon, but these millennials grew up with all this technology. Yeah. And all this noise. It's so fucking noisy out here that they can't hear themselves think. Yeah. So the people who really get the most bang out of my message, even though millennials follow me the most, yeah. are people who are from 30s to 50s. Because they're like, you know what, man? Yeah, I fucking get that. Yeah. I remember back when I was a better human being before I started being dependent on my phone and dependent on this and dependent on that. And yeah. Literally, you can't even have a conversation with somebody nowadays because their minds are so out of it or they're checking the instagram yeah man like, I, I mean like you like hey yeah uh-huh so they're <laughs> they're like looking at you and their phone and they're here 
and then as you're having a serious conversation, an enlightening conversation, they then come out of nowhere and say, hey, did you hear about Trump? You're like, what the fuck is your problem, man? You can't hold a fucking attention span for longer than 15 seconds. Yeah. That's why you're not successful. Yeah. It takes a lot longer than 15 seconds to be focused on becoming rich, fucking becoming a better person, becoming smarter, becoming more athletic, losing weight. It takes time. Your mind needs to be focused yeah. on that fucking task. Yeah. I don't really blame them. That's the, that's the world that, that they grew up in. Yeah. So that's what they're seeing. Yeah. They're, they're seeing a lot of kids who are like 25, 26, 27, 28, who are making these big, big dollar numbers, man, from like inventing something yeah. or coming up with some new fucking app or whatever, man, making a lot of money. Yeah. So they want to have the opportunity. Yeah. But they don't realize only 1%, less than 1% are going to have the opportunity. Yeah. You got to go back to old school, which is there's no fucking secret. Yeah. It's just hard fucking work. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate to say it, man. Everybody goes, what is your secret, man? What's your secret about business? What's your secret about this? What's your secret about that? You don't want the fucking answer. The right. answer is, you see his fucking hands? Hard work. Hard fucking work, man. Yeah. It, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not going to voodoo some shit. I'm not a magician. It's not magic. It's literally, you're going to have to wake up. Yeah. And you're going to have to sit there and say, fuck, today's going to suck. And then when that day is over, you're going to wake up again and say, fuck. Yeah. The next day is going to suck. Yeah. And that's going to be your life. Yeah. Unless you're this guy who sits back and says, oh, I have this great idea. And yeah. it happens to work. Yeah. And you could be some lazy fat ass that sits back and makes millions of dollars off of some idea. Yeah. But the majority of it could just wake up every day. Yeah. Punch that mental time clock and say, this is going to suck. Yeah. I think the combination of hard work with technology is right. going to be, is going to be like the, the, oh, the, the game, game changer. Yeah. Game but, changer. But the problem is that most of them are just, they just want to do the, the technology, part, right. but not the hard work. That's the fun part. You were bullied. Yeah. Do you remember how many nights you spent by yourself in your fucking head? thinking about what kind of piece of shit you were yeah and how miserable that fucking was yeah that's exactly my drive i know that there's not just me and you there's millions and millions especially nowadays yeah with all this fucking pressure man you 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 can you can now bully a motherfucker on your phone mm -hmm. you are you but you know back in our day it was face to face mm -hmm. you can do everything over your phone we all have these voices in our head. We like to not listen to them. The one that comforts us and keeps us nice and warm and cuddly and gives us cookies and milk at nighttime and shit. We like that voice. <laughs> that voice is the one we want to always hear, which is why people don't like to listen to me a lot. Some people do, some people don't. The only thing that changes you is being real. So basically, you know, I had to have the courage to go back in there because nothing was getting done. Mm -hmm. I kept on going to that nice, cuddly voice in my head saying, you know what? You don't need to do this. That, that's too much work, man. You've earned this. You deserve this. And that mentality got me to 297 pounds, fat, out of shape. To me, a loser. To me, making $1,000 a month and making a ton of mistakes. Because mistakes happen on the easy side of life. You take the easy road, the easy path. There's a lot of mistakes over there. The hard journey, you don't make too many mistakes over here because it's too hard. You don't want to repeat it. Mm. So it's challenging. And have you, would you say you've built this almost like sadistic quality where you almost enjoy the pain? I don't enjoy it. It's necessary. Yeah. It's necessary. So every morning I wake up, it's not just about working out, but for me, working out has been a very big part of my mental growth. So for me, if I am not challenging myself every day, and I swear to God, people will not believe it. I was over almost 300 pounds twice in my life. A person that does that twice in his life does not enjoy cardiovascular activity, <laughs> okay? Yeah. So people can put anything they want to in their head. I did realize one thing. The things I don't enjoy that I still do, that's where growth is at. Mm. And that's 
for me, the only place growth is at、mm. is in that very uncomfortable, you know, in that uncomfortable zone. So, for instance, today I woke up and I just got to London, and I don't know where to run here. It's very difficult to run around this place.、Mm. So someone said, "Hey, you can run around out here, like around this one-mile block." And I'm like, "You know what? I'm not doing that." So I went down to the gym, and there's this like crazy elliptical trainer, but it's not a normal elliptical trainer. It's one that you like almost self-power. It,、yeah. It's very yeah, it's not electric. You no, yeah, yeah. very difficult. Yeah. So I got on that thing, and I realized, man, this shit sucks. <laughs> and after like two minutes, I'm like, I don't want to do this. So right then, I realized, hmm. It looks like we're gonna be here for a while.、Mm. <laughs> so I did that for two hours and forty-five minutes. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not saying do that, but that's something I did today. Once my mind said, you know what, let's not do this today.、And、I said, well, since we're my my mind went there, I redirected it and said, just for having that weak thought, we're gonna be on here for a while. Right. So it does sort of sound like you're punishing part of your mind in a way. Punishment. Maybe not be the right word.、Yeah. I want my mind to know who's in charge. So for the better part of 26 years, my mind was in charge of me,、yeah. which is why I made all these horrible decisions. Once you take control of your mind, you start making decisions for yourself versus、mm-hmm. your mind making decisions for you. Thinking about my plan for the next day, and I'm thinking about all these different obstacles that may come up. So basically, a lot of us aren't prepared for life. We get up willy nilly and just hope life is going to happen. It is going to happen, but it's going to happen with a prepared mind or an unprepared mind. Most people attack life with an unprepared mind. What I do is I try to account for all things that could happen, might happen, probably will happen, and then the unknowns. So basically, I can't account for everything. But I do know there could be some things that come up in life that you need to be ready for. I know for a fact I'm not going to want to work out tomorrow. Therefore, I'm preparing my mind for that.、Mm. I don't want to do that. I know tomorrow will come with some difficult decisions to make. It may come with getting a phone call saying someone died, this happened, that happened. I'm always preparing myself, not in a morbid way, but just like, look, man, be ready for life.、Mm. Don't let life just start attacking you left and right. Make sure that you start to build a mental armor, so then you're ready for life, and that comes with a very physical way. And the physical helps out the mental.、Mm. And do you think that's a, a lot of that's your background, your training, the hell weeks you've done, you know, all of that? Do you think that's created that discipline in your mind? It helped, but honestly, it was.、Um, I, I realized at a young age how to change myself was through discipline, and the military didn't teach me that. It was something I realized I had zero discipline, zero self-discipline, and I realized I have to start developing this. And I started really because I was horrible at reading and I was horrible at writing. I have so many learning disabilities; it's not even funny. So I just sit down at the table and spend so much time in this reading and writing and, and learning, and that kind of translated over to my self-discipline with, with、uh, working out.、Mm. So that's where it started. I started when I was about 16 years old and said, "Well." I'm a fourth grade reading level, you know. Let me go ahead now and start really、uh, focusing because I'm not gonna get in the military because I got past the test. Yeah. So that's where it started for me. It's more important to to own your weaknesses. You have to really triple down on those, man, because why? You want to become a full human being. We like to run away from weaknesses. Like for instance, if you're good at running, all you want to do is run.、Mm. If you're great at reading, you have several books. But we don't do those things that we're not good at. So for me, I realized, shit, man, like I keep on running away from these things I'm not good at. I have to dive into these things. I have to become one with these things, and that's what happened. And so I, I, I own them both. Yeah. And I talk very openly about them both.、Mm. Do you ever have a day where you just think, fuck it, I can't be asked to do anything. I'm not going for a run. I'm not stretching. I'm doing nothing. Every day, yeah. <laughs> so you have the thought, but you don't have the day. Every day, do you ever let yourself have a day when、Never. you just watch Netflix? Never, because、Some、guess what? Shit on Netflix. I'm haunted. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I can't do it. There may be some days I get up with poopy pants, and I'm like, you know what, man? Fuck this, man. Like, what am I training for? Yeah. I have no race in the docket. Why am I having this, this such a structured life? Why? 
And I'm like, you know what? I'm good. Mm. I'm done. I retire every day. Yeah. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> and I sit around. And I say, okay. And then this is my thought process. So you want to be normal. So you just want to be like everybody else that roams the world, not knowing the power that's in them, being fine with being mediocre. You want to go back to who you were, huh, Dave? I'm like, fuck that. Man. Mm. I and you have that conversation with yourself every day. Not every day. It's those bad days. Yeah, yeah. it's those bad days. I see a whole bunch of people walking around out here who have no idea how talented they truly are. And I'm talking about talent, like some God-given ability, talent that sometimes you have to hone, you have to work on, mm. you have to harness yourself. And they just walk around, just on their phones, just clueless to how powerful they are. How does someone who's ordinary or uh -huh. listening or watching get more committed, achieve more success? The biggest thing you have to do is shut off technology. You have to go dark. What I mean by that is you have to be quiet in your mind. Get away from people. We love being around people. We love talking. We love, we love parties. We love all that shit. It's okay to be alone. It's also okay to be unhappy. It's okay to be unhappy sometimes, man. It's okay to say, you know what, man, I'm, I'm fucked up. So you gotta go to the truth first. Who are you? Get, get really accountable and say, okay, who am I? What's the truth about me? Get to that dark place in your mind. Figure out, it may take months, it may take years. Figure out your purpose. Figure out what you want to be in life. And then from there, okay, I have my purpose. It may take a long time. No one knows their purpose because it's too loud. Find your purpose. From there, all right, you got to start planning. People love the planning phase because it's very comfortable. Mm. Then from the planning phase, you got to go to execution. So the execution phase will be all hate because that's where the real work begins. And that's when the failure happens and the failure and the failure. So, but, you know, that's, that, that's kind of how you have to do it. Yeah. So is there any part of what you do in your day that actually just really enjoy? It's not overcoming demons or overcoming voices. You just actually think <laughs> this just actually makes me happy and I really like it. Honestly, what's funny about this is people may hear all this and say, God, this guy is such a structured guy talking about demons, getting over things. That's not like his whole life. It's true, but I'm the most peaceful person on the planet Earth, even with like the conversation, like I go to the gym, I have to do this, I have to do that. Every day I'm winning. Every day I'm winning the, uh, the other voice in my head. So I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm at peace with myself. Mm. The things I do for fun are like me bettering myself. Yeah. I love sports, I love watching sports, but I also love accomplishing and overcoming myself every day. Because every day is a battle. Every day is a battle because your mind wants to choose the path of least resistance. Every day. But you don't become better by, by ever doing that. Mm. You become normal. And I don't want to be normal.